we're going to be testing burgers. I think Smash Burger's better. And I think the Fallow OG. Let's get it. Me and Croft were having a discussion the other day about what's the best burger. Got us thinking, should we change our recipe at Fallow? I'm the master and commander doing the old classic. Yeah, and I'm the nub star coming in with a potato bun and Smash Burger Techers. This burger has seen us through lockdown. It's seen us through two years of our first restaurant. Why change the winning formula? But I think you've got to keep evolving, Crofty, and not, not always uh, live in the past, you know? I have a 180 gram, a uh, smaller than a half pounder. We've got beautiful aged dairy fat minced through. Probably about a 25% fat ratio. This is our current burger we use at Fowler. I'm just pressing it nicely into a perfect cylinder. I want to go about 10% larger than the bun, so when it cooks and shrinks, it will be exactly the same size as the bun. Chef Murray over here has gone rogue. So it's slightly smaller because we have to use two per patty. But the, the idea of a smash burger is you basically get the ultimate in Maillard reaction. Really, really thin. But that also means you get more coverage in contact with the pan. So you're going to get better, more mature flavour from the roasting in the pan. So a little bit of oil on there. And I've got my two balls. I've seasoned them quite liberally. But obviously that seasoning is going to spread out a little bit. Look at that, the natural fat. Pan. No, I'm just going to check that it's not too hot. So in mind, just, I'm just, it's, just want, I just wanted to keep the nice shape of the burger. Nothing major. We're going to serve it nice and medium. Just going to colour it nicely on both sides. Bake it onto the bottom of the grill just to warm through nicely. I've smashed that bad boy down. Rudimentary uh, tools at the moment until we get this bad boy on the menu, but smashed it down so you've got really nice surface area on the burger. And you can actually smell that, all that pepper as it makes contact roasting really, really beautifully in the pan. And the thing is, the beauty of this burger, it's literally going to take a matter of uh, matter of minutes to cook. So as soon as you get that in there, you want to start roasting your uh, your bun. I'm going to roast it in the same pan as the smash burgers, so I get all the fat as well. So with my burger, the burgers don't take that long, but the key what I'm going to do with this burger is I want to make sure I give it a little rest. Because like any meat, you don't want to bite into it and it's going to piss out all over the place. So we've got a nice bit of colour on each side, nice circular shape. Give it a little press down. I'm going to take the burger off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do, with my bun, I'm not going to toast the inside. So I want the outside to be nice and crispy, but I want the inside to be nice and fluffy and moist. And I always find if you grill them on the, in the inside, you get it goes a little bit too dry. So I'm just going to pop it into the oven, just for a minute and a half, just to warm through nicely. Uh, I've got my burger cheese, American cheese slices, best cheese for a burger. I'm just going to lay that over the top. You don't want to over melt this cheese because it goes a little bit, um, you know, it just runs off and disintegrates. So I'm going to um, lay my bacon over the top. Just season the black pepper. Don't need any more salt because I've seasoned the patty well. So I'm just going to very quickly melt the cheese under the grill. My small little patties here have been flipped. They're getting a really nice good colour on the other side. I've loaded them up with cheese already. My bun has got a really nice colour on it. I'm just going to whack it under the grill. Hey, that's my grill. The trick is just to melt that cheese. So turn the heat down a little bit and then cover it. Little bowl, or a big bowl in this case. Let the steam that's from that cooking of the burger do all of the work. Okay, so bacon's crispy, cheese is just melted. The residual heat from the burger will melt the rest of the cheese. So you've actually got the bacon underneath the cheese. So cheese melted all over it. Oh, nice chef. Take that bad boy out. Oh, look at that bad boy. Give it a little. Really nice and warm and toasted all the way through. And look how crispy that is as well. In the brioche, it's not as good as the potato. The potato gets crispier, it gets fluffier. This patty is perfect. Where's the burger? Coffee? 10 seconds under the grill. We went on time as well. 
So, burger sauce. And we're going to keep it quite simple in terms of the dressing of the leaves. A little bit of lemon dressing. So really, we want to, we actually really want to taste the, the meat here and the bun and how that affects it. Right, my bun's hot. So nice and fluffy and warm inside. To give it a fair test, we're going to glaze them the same. So burger sauce. Proper soft, that bun. Feel of that, man. Have a little feel of that. Oh, yeah, nice. One. So, we've gone for the same. We're keeping a fair test. So, we've got lettuce on the bottom with the dressing on. We've got the patty, pickle slot. There we have it. The smash burger. Very juicy. Potato bun holding up nicely. I just burnt this bun a little bit. That's not a big deal. Caramelization. <laughs> Brioche bun with a normal beef burger patty. So we've got bacon, cheese, lettuce, pickle slot, and burger sauce. Oh, cuts nicely. I would be happy to serve the potato bun. Albeit I have a special affection for the brew. Yeah, I think, I think the smash burger technique has its place in the world, but for how hard it would actually be to achieve on service at the scale that we do, I think, you need a I think it's quite nice to say a little bit different. Right. You need a proper, like, when I said, oh, why, just, why yeah. do you have a smash burger? Well, we're also not a fast food joint, do you know what I mean? We're a restaurant. I guess uh, what we've decided is um, a hybrid burger. A hybrid is the way forward, which means that this process was incredibly worthwhile. Like and subscribe for more Chef Wars. We do. <laughs> <laughs>